In this video, I'm going to explain remember, mutable state of, and the keyword by, and how we use them in Jetpack Compose. So first of all, an animation I think often helps here. We have to understand a little bit about the delegate design pattern. Delegate design pattern is a way that we can implement some reusable software by essentially delegating a function from one class to another. So up here we have kind of a cone-shaped or C-shaped class. And what we're going to do is bring in a class that we can delegate things to. And this will be our mutable state class. Now, when we make a call to this initial class, it's going to delegate that call over to our mutable state class. And that mutable state class is going to inform any composable that the state has changed. And then the composable will react to that state change and it will change its look and feel as desired. Now the good news is that Kotlin already has support for a lot of this built in natively. And this happens to work out well with Jetpack Compose. So if we take a look at a few keywords here, we look at a construction that we see frequently, which is val foo by remember mutable state of open and close double quotes. That's fairly common to see in Jetpack Compose. Let's explore each one of these in detail. By is an important keyword in Kotlin, and don't confuse it with the assignment operator, the equals operator, because we'll get something very different. And I'll show the effect of that in the IDE a little bit later in this video. But essentially what by says is this is a delegated property. So you're delegating your method calls to that which is to the right of that by operator. So you're using the variable to the left of the operator. And as you're calling functions on that variable, it's actually delegating it to that which is on the right. And that's how we're able to effectively use a mutable state to inform our composables that something has changed and they need to be recomposed. Remember is one that we use frequently in Jetpack Compose because by default, a composable wants to recompose itself each time data changes. Well, remember says compute this value only at the first composition and then remember that value from time to time going forward. Uh, in other words, don't recompute the value every time we recompose. This one's important if we have things like text field entry, because really when we're changing the text in that text field, we are changing the, the state. We're changing the state of that text field, and that would want to trigger a recomposition. Well, we don't want to do that. So what we'll do is we'll initialize that text field with a value that we remember, and inside of that remember, we'll have a mutable state of. Let's consider the next three items together. Mutable state of, mutable state, and state. So a composable wants to watch something and notice if it changes. So state with a generic identifier is saying, okay, I'm going to tell you what the current state is, or in other words, what the value of this variable is right now. State is essentially read only, so it provides a get value function. Mutable state is readable and writable, so it also gives us a set value function. If you're familiar with live data, the concept of state and mutable state is very similar to live data, uh, live data and mutable live data. So in other words, live data is something that can change and something that can be observed. By default, live data as a type is read only, but mutable live data is something that can be changed. So you can set the value of a mutable live data object. Well, state and mutable state are very similar. State is essentially read only, and then mutable state is something that can be changed. And we can get access to a mutable state object by invoking the mutable state of function. So these three things go together and that gives us this construction that we see up here. This becomes easy to visualize in the IDE, especially the importance of the by keyword. Let's take a look at a few things that happen when we look in our IDE. First of all, I have here a composable and you'll notice that I have var in location by remember mutable state of and then value open and closed uh, uh, quotes. And then down below I'm using in location in a text 
object essentially that I'm using in my look and feel. You can see that look and feel here and you notice that as I type I can delete UC, I can put in University of Cincinnati or if I want I could put in Sawyer Point, anything like that. Notice that as I'm typing as I'm typing the UI is responsive. So let's look at a few different permutations that we can do here. First of all if we look at in location it is currently type string but note what happens when I change this by to an assignment operator an equal sign what does in location become in location becomes mutable state so that by operator is very important because it's setting up this delegation where it looks like we're dealing with a string but in reality when we are changing this value it's delegating it to that mutable state type similar thing up above I have an observe as state function call here and once again I'm using this by operator and if we take a look at say plants we see it's a list of plant objects but note what happens when I change it from the by operator to an assignment operator what's plants now it is now a state object which is enclosing or encapsulating a list of plants. You notice that's different and I'll say the first time I use composables with observe a state just out of habit I used an equal sign instead of the by operator and I, I spent probably two hours trying to figure out why my composables were not recomposing or why I couldn't just pass that value down to my composables and it's because I used by and I was I'm sorry I used equals and I was getting a state object back that enclosed a list of plants, where what I actually wanted was the list of plants. So that by operator, very fundamental. Now, on a similar note, let me go ahead and rerun this, but I'm going to make one more change. Where I have that location, I'm going to just remove this for a moment, and I'm just going to initialize it to a normal old string without wrapping it in that by remember by remember mutable state of let's just make it a normal old string and let's see what happens to our look and feel then we get a very interesting behavior notice that i type in location nothing happens but description a lovely plant that still works date planted october 1985 that still works but location no dice. So if you find that you have this behavior in Jetpack Compose where you have something like a text object or a text user interface component and it's not actually accepting anything that the user is typing, that's likely because you don't have this remember mutable state of uh, setup as the initial value. Additionally, you, you need to set up an on value change lambda here, which basically says whatever the user has typed in we're going to set that as the new value so you need both of those things to have a responsive user interface so why do we need this well composables want to recompose when the state changes in a text component the state is essentially what you see in that text component and we don't want to recompose each time you type a letter so that's why we use that remember so that we can remember this item from one recomposition to another. Now there is a little trick we need to think about. What if we want to forget something we've remembered? So for example, let's say I pick from a drop down another specimen and I want to repaint each of those text fields with the details of this new specimen I've picked or a different specimen I've picked. How do we do that? Well there is a trick to that. Remember is actually a function and there's a parameter that we're not using here which is a key and what we can do is pass in a key each time we invoke remember as long as that key is the same the value inside the remember won't be recomputed but if we pass in a new key a different key then that's a trigger that says go ahead and recompute this i'll have a separate video where i walk through that exact scenario where we can select a plant from a drop down or a specimen from a drop down and then we can force values that have been remembered to be forgotten and be recomputed but only when we actually change what's in that drop down not when we're typing the text that the user will see so this has been a look at remember by and mutable state of 
I hope this video is helpful, and as always, I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.